Okay. This is kind of coming back to me a little. I I love that they didn't they didn't try to fight back. Ooh. Oh. Oh. When it says upward, it doesn't it, it doesn't it doesn't mean straight up. I understand video game. Oh. An assassin's dagger. That did not do damage to me. And those are the project uh, protecting majigs. There is apparently an internal cooldown on launching the grenade. Because the secondary shot, it doesn't do the grenade. Oh. oh I, I went straight into that. I was like, okay, so I can't go up this way because spikes. I have to kill these guys. Because we need to get the XPs and, and the monies and the stuff. I, I walked right into uh, I walked right into it. It's late, and that is my excuse. I still don't remember or understand that. Probably both. Cursed treasure chest. Ow. You've outraged the gods. Just one little hit and you're dead. Ten enemies left the curse. Eh, we could probably handle ten enemies or, you know, die. I like more damage. Because instead of 45%, it's 52. Ooh, this upgrades our mutations. I like the idea of getting that to like a second off. I get all of these, dude? Broadsword plus three. 1153 DPS on a critical. The second and third hits are critical. Colorless, the highest level applies. 20% damage cannot be interrupted by an enemy's attack. Victims burn when they die. Alright, so I'm all about the Hollow Knight stuff, but this is kind of... Two, like, two and a third times more damage. And I can't be interrupted. I love you. I love you, Pure Nell. But I'm getting rid of you. I'm rolling. We have to be the super most carefulest ever. So I'm not going to die to that. I, I'm not... You're going to throw that down there and not up here, and then I'm going to one-shot you. That's very cool. I will drop grenades on you. Just as you have done to me. Oh my god, we almost one-shot them with that. Get wrecked. Oh, I wanted to do the downward thing. That. Okay. I must destroy this now. Mm. No, 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 I was, I pressed A and started jumping at a time when I should not have been doing that. Oh no, they can teleport, dude. I one-shot them. This shouldn't be scary, because I one-shot them. I have a turret. I need to use the turret more, dude. Like, completely ignoring life-saving mechanics. I just gotta kill three of them, and then it's not scary anymore, dude. No. Destroy it. Cast it into the fire. Curse lifted. Easy game. We only profited from that. Curse chest, best chest, zero risk. Oh, that's right. Burn was fun because it stacks multiple times. Those fire grenades should be great then. Oh, and I can interrupt their jumps because it like it hits them and it staggers them and stuff. Critical. 
Oh, oh, and I can roll in the air. Very good. All is well. Making it happen, Cap'n. I love how big those numbers are. I don't think we're supposed to have a weapon like this this soon. Also, because it arcs above me, I hit stuff in the air. This broadsword is amazing, dude. What are all those down arrows on me? The Gardener's Key. I don't know what that stuff is, but it's so shiny, dude. Oh, so very locked. Alright, well we're- oh, wait! That was just chilling right there, dude! So now... I could... get 70% more HP, or I could get more damage. Yes, I know, it's probably dumb to just get more damage, but at the same time, dude, I like big numbers. I don't know if you like big numbers, I like big numbers. You see how when we hit them, they just kind of stop existing? It's kind of the best feeling. This is a super weak grenade, and oh yeah! And still, Malachite. And still, it almost one-shots them. Powerful grenade. 13 second cooldown. The victim's remains explode for an additional 11 damage. Causes a large explosion. So... more than double damage. Actually, is this lower... This might be lower damage than the DP... than the infantry grenade, because not only is it not pure red, but it has three times the cooldown and only does double the damage. However, ah, we're okay. Oh, that's the way we got here, Derp. I was like, dude, there was another conveyor belt thing? I can go to even more, newer, greater places? Something tells me this is supposed to be a speedrun, considering there was a door that was locked, and it was like, sorry bro, you didn't speedrun your speedrun. But I hate being rushed, that's not how I roll. We're just going to enjoy life. In fact, now that I think about it, these are, these are totally, these are totally frickin' portals, aren't they? Can I teleport? How do I teleport? I, I press it on, on them. That's how we do it. I'm going down these ones. Okay. Upgrades your tactics or survival stat. You know... Ah, oh, you still got me? What a jerk. Okay, that's cool. It's just a dual-sided. Like, I don't know, I'm getting a Magic the Gathering vibe from this, because it's, it's dual-colored. I will get additional damage for the grenade, and 70% more HP. Because it is big HP, and I like big HP. Because I'm assuming our Estus stuff is percent based. Right? You can't answer me, but I'm going to assume you answered me. And it was exactly what I wanted to hear. Yes. I feel like I remember the whip, and I didn't like it. I also feel like I didn't like the Spartan Sandals. I could be horribly wrong, and maybe they're the most amazingest, most amazing I ever enjoyed. But I'm, I'm really digging this sword, and this is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, lot less DPS. I'm honestly kind of wondering what's going to happen when we reach a boss, because, um... Either I just explode on contact with any kind of adversity, or, uh, or they do that. Because I'm like, dude, if the boss has 10,000 health, it would take me less than 10 seconds to kill them. If my DPS is to be believed. I can't smash through the thingy doodles. Which leaves nothing down there, so I think we just gotta go to the right, because we have fully cleared everything out. 
That wasn't even an enemy. I was like, I gotta remember to use... I, I gotta use the, the... The turrets, dude. Use my whole kit. Take advantage of things. I could have got the other grenade and put that on there and then just had two grenades, couldn't I? Nutcracker. Wolf trap. Fully green. So I wouldn't get all the damage benefits, but I don't think ours was terribly amazing in the first place. Launches two traps that root enemies, increasing the damage they take by 41 DPS for five seconds. The victim's re remains explode. So I could just put that on the ground and then the jumpy dudes can't get to me? And it's more DPS than this? I know that the turret's probably better, and this is a longer cooldown. I might remember to use this more, though. So I'm gonna sell that. And as expected, it got rid of the nutcracker thingy. Dude, I wonder if these broadswords were in the game when I played last, because they're kind of sick, dude. A statue of the king of the island. How could he see anything with that helmet on? That was probably another one of the DLC games that just did the reference, it, it escapes me. Oh, there's a, there's a Rose Club up there. And no other way to get up there? D oh, derp. Go, go, Gadget! I'm stuck in my trap. If only I could get the cooldown on those down. But it's not red, so oh, it actually doesn't benefit from my uh, my cooldown reduction, does it? I wonder if those count as enemies. If I break the the thingies, it gives them the invincibility bubble, Bob. Does that count as an enemy? I should see if it gives experience. If it gives experience, it probably does. Hello. Sorry, dude. We've just got the one shots here. 15% on purple. I'm not using the bow, and that barely affects the traps. So I'm thinking... 40% more HP. Got a teleporter. Got a grenade. Got a pressing the X button. Yes, you did jump into death. Thank you for noticing. So if I hold up... No, it's not really guaranteed. I think it's just going through the attack combo. I was like, is there a way that I could guarantee while I'm in the air or something that I can get an overhead attack? Because the overhead attack's what hits things that, that are over my head, you know? Ah, I couldn't get him. Alright, no, I could take more damage. I could definitely take more damage before I heal. I don't want to waste it. We've still got our, our, our full orange juice. See, how much damage did he even do to me? Like 60 or something? Oh, it flashes now. I don't remember doing that before. We streamed this a few times. I had like 10 hours on record. So, 3 years, 10 hours, eh. There's got to be all kinds of fancy new stuff other than the DLC that they added in this game, right? So, we just gotta collect lots of dead cells. And then we can unlock it all. I'm dropping down the hole. I got stunned. So, remember that we are low health. But also disrespect them. Oh, there's a training dummy thing? Oh, I guess I'll have to destroy it. I set them on fire. I didn't even hit up there. Grenade to the face, instantly disintegrated. Bat bros, completely gone. Oiled sword, probably makes enemies burn more? Could be cool. I've got the recipe, provided I don't die. I don't know if I actually have to make it to the next level or I lose the scroll. Prisoner. A young woman. Prisoner 6541. She's clutching something in her fist. A golden amulet. Damage from projectiles minus 75%. For 
versus Prisoner's Caller, which does absolutely nothing. Where does it show up on our stuff? Oh, only in the pause menu. So I guess we just get one piece of, like, accessory equipment stuff? That is, uh, that's, that's, that's actually pretty freaking insane. I wonder if bombs and traps and stuff count as ranged because they're deployed. Probably not the, the traps. Oh yes, I will stand on this button and come in here. Do we go up there? I, I see money. This is probably like, I don't want to go the right way because we have to fully explore everything. So we probably want to go this way. Never mind, that was the ramparts. I'm dropping down here. Getting extra monies in the secret zone. That is just the rampart, so I want to go and try and do whatever this is. I can't do whatever this is. This can apparently only be approached from another direction. 